Welcome back to a new video about how to draw a regular pentagon upon its side AB. Well, you place the compass on the tip of the compass on point A and take until point B. So you're going to draw a whole circle and do the same thing from point B. So you're going to get two big circles with two intersection point, points I'm going to, to stress them by means of as usual of the marker and I recommend you as a good practice to always label the points you are getting throughout the, the drawing so that you can avoid getting lost uh, in the in the process next next step is to join points 1 to 2 in order to get the perpendicular bisector of uh, segment AB let's place the compass again the tip of the compass on point 2 make sure that you get until point B or A is the same so and rotate the compass so that you are going to draw an arch this is going to bring about again three new points on the first two circles we already get at first and of course over the perpendicular sector the red line so they are going to be points three four and five and they are going to play a crucial role in the whole thing the whole process and um, let's change color here to pink we're going to join points 3 to 5 mm -hmm. so I make sure you are joining to point 5 extend the line please until the upper side of one of the big circles do the same thing from point 4 to point 5 until point the, the circle the uh, uh, upper side of the circle make sure that you are passing through point 5 because it's a very usual mis mistake people make to get mixed up with this point that is underneath point 5 please don't uh, take this point forget about it overlook it at any cost well we got two new points this is as usual we're going to label them they are going to be part of the pentagon so we're going to use letters in this case uppercase letters C and D so we are getting closer to the to the outcome, the final outcome. Let's change again the thickness and the color of the lines because I'm going to join point A to point C and point B to point D. We are four of the five uh, vertices of the pentagon. We are looking for what do we have to do. Well, next is just take the compass again, place the tip on point C make sure you are still working with the length of the side of the of the pentagon yes yeah, we make sure that we have a b and draw a swinging arc this way do the same thing from point d and we're going to get the last point we were looking for this is point e Let's l as usual lab label it. Yes, and of course, as a conclusion, we're going to join point C to E and E to D. That's all. We get a beautiful roller pentagon, and we're done. So long, boys. I will see you again in the next video.